Back at you with another video coming at you from ChooseYourRelationships.com Offer of Love Can't Wait, which can be found on Amazon.com So the question of the day is, what's my definition of a good relationship? And what does a good relationship entail? This is what somebody asked me. And this can be kind of subjective and see at the end of the day I think every man and woman their goal is to keep their families intact keep their families together that doesn't mean everything that works for one couple one family is supposed to work for the other Relationships have different dynamic. It varies from, you know, couple to couple, person to person. Everyone sees things different. So, with that being said, a lot of this is going to have to do with how you grew up, what you saw when you was growing up, what you saw when you was a little kid. Rather, you you watch your parents your grandparents and but even still then even if you saw your parents and grandparents in a in a good light just because you saw that that doesn't necessarily mean that relationship is going to work for you see a lot of times we think just because we observe something other people in a relationship, we think that we want that. But here's the deal. In order to know what you want, you, you first have to get it. You first have to have it first. Because if you in it, that's when you know you get okay this is not what I thought it was, which it never is. You know, regardless of what it is, regardless of what you thought before you got into it, when you get into it, everyone says it ain't what I thought it would be. The dynamics is a little different. Uh, it takes a lot of work, etc. on and on and on. But when you're out of something, it's easy to be judgmental. It's easy to be like, I want that. I want what they got. Until you get it, and then you have a different perspective. That's how it is. You know, so in order to get what you want, you really have to be in it first. You have to receive it. That's that's how you determine what you really want out of life. You have to have it first. You have to experience it first. Well, a good relationship is really what two people want it to be, really. I mean, I now, of course, you don't want no violence and, and the name calling and the negativity and, and, and two people being toxic towards each other. Of course, you don't want that. No, and the jealousy and envy. And, of course, you don't want none of that, right? You take all that stuff out and, you know, how do you want the dynamic to be? Do you want to, um, like for example, you want a submissive woman? Do you want a, if it's a woman, do you want a dominant male? Or, or maybe if you're a dominant woman, maybe you want a submissive man. Or whatever. You know, whatever qualities people want, I truly believe whatever you want or whoever you want, they're out there. But here's the deal. Most people haven't really had a real relationship. They haven't really had one, really. You know, I've, I've met so many people out here. They, they've been in a quote, quote relationship, but they haven't really had one. 
is just... And the reason why I say this is because in most cases, when you meet meet the average woman, in my case, they were always hiding something. They weren't being honest up front. And, and, and probably, what, a month or two goes by, then I find out something... And this is after we spent time together and all this. I'm like, and then another, it's going to take you another six months. Because if they hide something early, you know they're going to hide. It has to be something else. So the reason why I say most people haven't really had a real relationship because most women are hiding stuff. Well, even some guys, they're hiding stuff too. So you can't really have a real relationship unless two people are willing to be vulnerable. Unless they're willing to really show who they truly are. And there's some women I, I think that men are just delusional. I, I Like, for example, there's a woman that I, um, I met a couple days ago. And, um... I asked her when the last time she had a relationship, right? She said when she was in New York City. I said, you was in New York City? I said, really? So she said her boyfriend lived in New Jersey. And she lived uh, in Brooklyn. So I said, that's a little kind of a little distance. She said, yeah. So I said, how often did you see this guy? Once a month. I said, you ain't had no boyfriend. No. Not in New York City. That's at least an hour away. She, from, she stayed with Brooklyn to Teaneck. That's like an hour away. You, you, know, you ain't had no relationship. You know, he, he, he had a relationship with somebody else. And you just happened to be... Happened to see him once a month. This is what I'm talking about. You know, Y'all said y'all just have sex. That's it. Just say that. But y'all, that ain't no relationship. You know. So, you know, in a place like New York City, uh, I just, that's just a good example. In order to have relationships, you have to spend time with each other. You can't show up once a month and stay one night and wake up and I'll see you next month. That's not, a, that's, not a real, that's not a relationship. That's just two people having sex, having a good time together. That's it. And there's a lot of I've met a lot of women that's like this. They'll think they're in a relationship with a guy, but they're not. They're not. You know, it's, it's a weird dynamic. You know, I've met a lot of women that say, yeah, he's my man. I'm like, really? When did it start? When y'all talk about being in a relationship together? They'll say, no, we never actually officially talk about it, but I see him as my man. I'm like, oh, okay. You know, stuff like that. You know? So you have people that's delusional about being in a relationship. And then you have a lot, the majority of people that aren't willing to be vulnerable, show who they really are. You have to find out by spending time with them. And that's the majority of people. That's the majority of people today. You know? This is why it, it takes you so long to get to know people. It takes two, three, five, seven years to get really get to know people. Because if you meet somebody, nine times out of ten, regardless of how highly you think of them, there's something about them that they hide. There's something. They're probably in debt. Uh... They probably got some type of issue, something that happened to them in the past. And they probably met a, a bad, you know, bad, a, a couple bad apples before you met her uh, or him. Uh, maybe she done something strange for a piece of change after work or on the weekend. Um, that can go on and on. 
You know, but she's not going to tell you any of that stuff. No, she's not going to tell you about the one night stand she's had, the amount of guys she slept with, um, all of that stuff. She's not going to tell you any of that. So that's why I say most people have never really been in a relationship before. Because the person that they was spending time with, they didn't tell them anything. They didn't really talk real talk. They just talk what's above the surface. This is why I always say, whenever you meet somebody, regardless of how highly you think of them, ask yourself this. What is there that I'm not seeing uh, uh, below the surface with this person? What is there about this person that I don't know, that I'm not seeing? Because there's something there. And if you see a woman that's um, man or woman, in this case, because most of them are in debt. If they got a house, car, Best if they got a sports car, a luxury car, a BMW, Mustang GT, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, SUV, and they got a house, mortgage, and all that stuff, and they just work forty-hour work week, a nine-to-five corporate job. You already know what time it is, and nine times out of ten, if that's their only income. And this is how you can tell if, this, this, if that's the only income. Because if they're always eager to get with you after work and on the weekends, nine times out of ten, that's her only, him or her only income. And that job that they got ain't enough money. If she got a mortgage and a car payment, insurance, probably got one kid, even if she don't have no kid, it still ain't enough. If she got that high ass SUV luxury luxury car payment plus the mortgage, insurance, food, utilities, and who and, and credit cards, student loan, and one income ain't enough for all that. I'm sorry. It ain't. And if you spending time with her on the weekends. And after work, you know there's a 97% chance she's in debt. But she ain't going to tell you that until things get serious a couple months later, a couple years later. When things get serious, she's going to, hey, uh, yeah, I got student loan. My student loan is a... Is a hundred is a hundred and twenty thousand dollars. That's my balance, and my payments is two hundred and fifty dollars a month. That's what you're gonna tell you that. Then you're gonna find my credit cards is maxed out. I got five credit cards. Three of them is maxed out. Two of them I never used before. You know, she didn't tell you this in the beginning. Because if she would have told you this in the beginning, you probably would have been gone. If she would have told you how many guys she slept with, uh, 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 how her spending habits, and she might not even never tell you how she really gets down sexually. The amount of guys she's been with, the uh, stuff she done done on the weekend, something. She might have done something strange for a piece of change. Once she came, once she she came low on money or whatever, she's never going to tell you that. You know, the one night stands, you're never going to tell you that. You know, and it, it might slip out. You know, she and she's she might be one of those women that go both ways. If that's true, I ain't never met a woman that told me that she go both ways. I've never met them. I've always had to find that out on my own. <laughs> and even then, and even then, when I found it out on my own, because I 
checked them, I talked to them, I asked them about it. They still deny it. And to this day, I still know these women. And they still deny it. They, even though the, they got pictures with, with other women and their friends have told me how they get down. But they still deny it to this day. <laughs> I've never met a woman that I've been involved with. I've met some women that said they do go both ways. Or she's just lesbian. But I wasn't involved with them. But the women that I've met that I've been involved with, they never have admitted that they go both ways. Never. So I'm like, you're going to take the line of your grave. I said, we're not together. You can come clean now. They still won't do nothing. They still won't come clean. So some people will take the lie to the grave. They live the lie. That's their life. And they've been trained to be that way. From an early age. Growing up. So you can't really be in a relationship with somebody that's like that. You can spend time with them. You can have fun with them. But it's going to end. Because the foundation was built upon a lie. Sad, but true. So if you really want to have a real relationship, both people have to put things on the table within that first month. If you really want a real relationship, put things on the table within that first month or when things start getting serious or whenever y'all determine that y'all going to uh, be together long term that's when you should put everything on the table and say hey this is who I am this is what I got now some people will say some women will say set me as I am man let me tell you something people don't have people are not obligated to accept you as you are in the beginning the only time that's only time I would say that makes sense is if you're married but if someone's not married to you, they're not obligated to accept you as you are. Man, I don't want that does That's just crazy talk. A lot of women will say, say, if you don't accept me as I am, you don't love me. Well, he probably don't. It's probably too early for love in the beginning anyway. If you've known this dude for three, six months, he don't even know you. Well, that's just... That's just crazy talk. <laughs> That's just crazy talk. You got it. <laughs> so in order to have a, a real relationship, you got to put everything on the table. Come clean. But most people are not going to do that. They're just not going to do it. That's been my experience. Because most women come through the door playing games. And, they, they, and, and you know, the crazy thing is a lot of men and women... They kind of program themselves to do that. They'll go from woman to woman, man to man, playing the same game. And it doesn't matter who the person is. It doesn't matter if, if it's a, a, a decent person, bad person, or anything else in between. They don't care. They've been doing it for so long, they become conditioned and programmed to be this way. A lot of people out here is like this. Especially if you live in the big, these big cities. You If you live in these big cities, most people, their whole way of, the, of existing in these big towns, these big cities, is to play games. That's all they know. If, if, if you start, if you call most people out on their, their BS, they won't know how to take that. They'll just get away from you. Because, especially a, because a, a, a weak person will be like, oh, I got to go. I don't like this or whatever. They won't be able to take it. They won't be able to take any type of criticism or anything like that. They'll be just, 
they'll just leave you alone and move on to the next next person next man and next woman you know so hey so you tell me what's been your experiences when you meet men and women are they up front with you in the beginning you tell me what you think uh, you know is your experience the same as mine or am I bluffing you know most people most women I meet they're, they're not uh, open and honest it's very every every once in a while I meet a woman and she uh, she's very honest and very open and honest in the beginning but that's very rare I done that probably happens to me once a year I'll meet a woman one one woman a year I'll meet like that where it's like you know she's open and honest caring nurturing everything but that doesn't happen every day that doesn't happen every, that doesn't happen once a month it's very rare that that happens like that you know well you tell me your experience leave your questions and comments below this video so if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe Share this video. Check out my website, ChooseYourRelationships.com. Until next time, I'm out. Peace!